Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all you guys doing? I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So, um, before we get started, I want to make the announcement for all of my new love bugs here on our channel. We have something called Mystic Bees Honey Pie Raffle, you guys. It's a blessing pot. The tickets are one dollar and eleven cents, and the way that it goes is we hold a computer generated raffle weekly and the winner receives the cash pot. That is just our channel's way of giving back. So if any of you guys are interested in participating, you can find the link in the description box. Also, you guys, I have um, I have restocked my Etsy shop. Um, let me show you. I have added, re-added, because I've been receiving messages about from you guys about when am I going to restock the black, the unisex black tourmaline um crystal necklaces and these are good for protecting you from negative energy okay they absorb negative energy and it's crazy it was one 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 on the timer when i said that so especially like i said with me being an extreme empath um i'm a channeler i'm a psychic medium and you know spirits are commute are, are constantly using me as a form of communication for others right Sometimes those energies that are coming through are not, they're not always good energy. So I have to find ways to protect myself from those entities and energies that are looking to, you know, manipulate my energy and to, you know, come through me and just, you know, temper with my energy. And it also, it's also really good with protecting you against psychic attacks as well. And you guys know in these spiritual streets, it, it gets real gangster out here in the spiritual streets. So you got to make sure that you are protecting yourself, okay? So I listed these on there as well. Actually, like all of my kids wear this. I keep this on their neck constantly. If it breaks, I always, I put another one on. I never let my kids go along with one of these on their necks you could like look at the old pictures or anything and you will see especially like um well the only person y'all always see is k daddy but i keep one of these on their necks okay also i have added on there um the major arcana um tarot necklaces i i'm currently wearing the high priestess you guys i have others on there i'm not going to name the other ones that i have on there right now for time's sake but um you guys just make sure you check it out I've also restocked my Easy Tarot cards, Mystic Bees Easy Tarot. And these are the cards that I created that teach you the meaning of tarot in the upright and in the reverse. I was reading y'all emails about when you're going to restock the cards, Mystic. So I placed a, um, a order for a shipment from my supplier last night. Um, I play, I pay for expedited shipping. So within the next seven days or so, I should have them here with me, but you guys can go ahead and uh, pre-order. So if you want yours, if you want to secure your deck before they touch the ground, now it's time to do so. Okay. That was a spill. <laughs> Somebody could timestamp the reading, <laughs> but okay. So yeah. So our separation still affects me. So this is someone who is currently still affected by your absence in this person's life. You guys, what else? What else? Tell me more, spirit. What else? Yeah, I just heard play for 10. So yeah, this person's acting like they're unfazed, but they really are. You're the last person on my mind before I fall asleep. So this person, you really occupy, you live in this person's mind rent free, I'm hearing. What else, period? Also, you guys, these are my um, Mystic Bees official unofficial messages. They are on my Etsy as well. All right. All right, wait a minute. All right, the last time we were together. So this person is doing a lot of thinking about the, the last time that you guys were together, the conversation, what happened between you guys. I really feel like this person could have done or said something that was very hurtful to you the last time you guys talked or you guys were together. Yeah, the way we met was unreal. So this person is starting to feel like this is a divinely guided situation. Like, you know, they're feeling like it was no coincidence that you guys crossed path. I know I can't give you what you need, but this person is also feeling like they're falling short on um, being there for you. 
this person don't feel like they're enough. What I said to you still haunts me. Oh, wow. Didn't we just say that? This person could have said something or did something to you. And they are still very much haunted by this. They're bothered by this. I'm hearing what they said or what they did not say. But for a lot of you guys, it's more so what they said to you that they felt like they, you know, they were out of line. Because, you know, you can't take words back. People always remember the way that you made them feel, right? Okay. So, more cho-chos for the ho-hos. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys are working on your finances, okay? You like, you know what, Miss I ain't got time for this player. I ain't got time. This person had ample opportunity to get it together and they chose otherwise, okay? But this person really, really care about you. So you guys are focusing on your stability right now. You're focusing on creating something tangible, something meaningful, beautiful for you and your lineage, you know, your bloodline. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. This person is fearful. They're sitting in their fears right now. They're letting their fears consume them. This person visits you, visit you in your dreams a lot. So you may feel this person around you energetically, but this person, they visit you in your, in your dreams. You guys communicate a lot in the spiritual realm with this person. But, you know, look at this. You guys are in an energy of like, look, I'm healing. I'm focusing on self-love right now. And I really feel like this person, they're mirroring you, mirroring you. So I feel like this is the reason for this person's absence right now this person spirit is, is working with your your person on healing okay that's and first and foremost this person cannot be to you who you deserve if they themselves have not healed okay and this person is needing to learn um self-love because if this person can't love you if they don't love themselves that's that's very very important the love of self before anything i can't be myself to you guys if I'm shorting myself, if I'm not getting the rest, if I'm not watching what I'm putting in my body, if I'm not meditating, if I don't have that good relationship with myself and God, then I cannot be the mystic that you guys deserve me to be. And it's the same way with this person. Like they have to know self-love and they have to heal. Okay. Because player, player from the Himalayas is here. So this is somebody who, who, Let's just say this person, are, they're not, they're not shy when it comes to mingling with people, okay? Look, and I know I owe you an apology. Yeah, this person, they're, they're used to having multiple lovers, multiple options and things of that nature. This person is not shy when it comes to that. But this person is saying that you have their whole heart. So I, I don't know, I just feel like this is something that they never expressed to you. They've always made you wonder. What else, spirit? Somebody loves Anthony Hamilton. I'm going to make it up to you. Yeah, and look, if it's meant to be, it will be. So this person is just like, look, I'm going to make this up to you. Right now, this person is kind of releasing control of the situation. And they're pretty much saying, like, they're praying and asking God if it's meant for me and my person to be together, put it on their heart for them to forgive me, give me strength to come forward and give them the apology that they deserve, but not only the apology, but act on, you know, um, act on those words because I feel like to you guys, apologies don't mean nothing dealing with this person because this person could have apologized to you time and time again. I remember you was here and I almost let them destroy our connection. So this is, um, I remember you always make me feel like a very spiritual connection. Like this person remember you from a past life. This is like past life energy. And this person could have let someone, an outsider interfere on this connection between you guys. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles, this person was juggling you. This talks about juggling, whether it's finances, their priorities. This person did not prioritize you at all. You know, this person could have met somebody in the workplace or something like that. This person could be a manager or a manager type figure. Like this person just, they was just really clumsy. Really, they dropped the ball with you. They were clumsy with your heart. Okay, so... This person is wanting to put in the work with this because they don't want the cycle to be over between you guys. Yeah, two of pinnacles is here again. Like, what is this person? 
what are they going back and forth on? Because the Eight of Swords is here and the Death card. I feel like this person is going back and forth on should they close out another situation? Yeah, look at that. Wait a minute. Should they close out another situation? Something dealing with a separation and the Ten of Pentacles energy talks about family ties. This, could, this person could be married to a karmic energy. This is this is uh, weighing this person down. Like this, they're burdened by this. I feel like this person is burdened by this. Having to separate, yep, having to release um this karmic energy that they've already invested in, possibly married to it, something like that. For some of you guys, they feel like they're lacking the courage. But I feel like Spirit is saying that it's been over. Like, it's been over between them and this person. But they were holding on to each other for possibly, like, financial reasons, codependencies, things of that nature. You know, but a lot of you guys are moving on. You know, the Five of Cups in Reverse talks about old grief moving on and accepting things for what it is and forgiveness. So you just are in the energy of moving forward from this person. You have definitely tapped into that high priestess, divine being type of energy that you are, Okay. And it's just like this person is going to have to, whew, I just heard damage control. Like this person's going to, they have a lot of making up to do. They have a lot of making up to do. Um, What cards? Okay, let's use my, um, okay, you guys, I'm going to use my wild, wild truth oracle. You guys can find these cards on my Etsy shop as well. All right, Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Galactic Beings. Go ahead and tell me the wild truth. What else, Spirit? I'm trying to stop watching your social media. This person is wild. Because, like, you know, they're holding back from you possibly because they may be married or they may be in a committed, even though it's pretty much over, you know, but this person is still lacking the strength to come towards you. But this person is like trying to force themselves to stop watching your social media. I regret playing games with your heart. I just said this person was clumsy with your heart. They were clumsy with you. And I can't get enough of you. So this person is definitely obsessed with your energy, especially if you're a high priestess. Like who wouldn't be obsessed with the high priestess energy? I regret the choices I've made. I wish we could start over. So this person will forever regret the games that they play with you how they did you, how they led you on. This person could have just totally discarded you, you know? I feel so small next to you. I don't feel good enough. We just got done talking about this person not knowing their self-worth, you know? Look, self-love. The more they learn to love themselves, they will slowly start to realize that, well, I do deserve someone this good. I deserve to be treated this way. I deserve someone who loves me unconditionally, like truly loves me from the soul level. And, you know, and I feel like when you met this person, they were unawakened. So they couldn't, they couldn't see what you saw, you know? Yeah, you make this person a better person. For some of you guys, it could be a twin flame connection. They're normally, whew, twin flame connections are um, known to make you better because the amount of devastation, heartbreak, and lessons tend to put you on a spiritual journey, okay? They, it tend to put you onto your spiritual path. So that's for not everybody because everybody's not on a twin flame journey. Others, you guys, this is a very special, very significant soulmate that you're dealing with. Give me one more spirit. Thank you. Get ready to receive good health, love, joy, new abundance, new love, abundance, peace, and stability. Some of you guys, you're going to receive new love, okay? A lot of joy, a lot of success, and good health. And Spirit is saying, like, you deserve this. Like, you deserve to receive all of the good things in life. You know, regardless if this person gave it to you or not, you know, it's important that you are open to receive, that you are healing your heart space so that you won't block your blessings. That's what that is. Give me one more. I don't want anyone else around you or getting to know you or feel your energy. Didn't I just say that this person is obsessed with your energy because you are a high priestess or a high priest? Who wouldn't be obsessed with a high priest or a high priest energy? It's there, like it's something so alluring about that type of energy, something so captivating. Like you just, it's easy to get lost in a divine being. That's why, let me tell y'all something else about being a divine energy, okay? You will attract crazy people. Your partners tend to be like crazy because 
they are drunk off your energy. They are obsessed with that energy. They can't get that energy from someone who is not of divine blood. You you see what I'm saying? So, you know, they may deal with other people, but they're always going to be thinking back to like, dang, like I'm still hungry. Like I'm eating it, but I'm unfulfilled. 15, 15 on the timer. So it's just, this person feels like you fulfill them. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you have not subscribed to me or you just passing through, go ahead and join our family. We would love to have you. Peace.